Parallax in Slater Revolution is a really cool technique that allows you to take images and text and put them on different layers and then have them move from left to right or up and down at different speeds in response to the movement of your mouse or to the scrolling up and down of the page. So that makes it a really quick way to add something that looks like three dimensionality to your page. So you can make things look like they're moving in front and behind of an object. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the parallax technique in your Slider Revolution modules. So here I am in the Slider Revolution module editor. I've just created a blank module and I'm gonna quit out of the guide because we don't need any special setup just to have a quick demonstration of how parallax works. I'm just going to start by quickly adding some background color to help give us a little bit of contrast so we can see the parallax movement more clearly. So to do that, I'm going to click the slide BG animation folder icon here. That will take me to the slide options tab and the background subsection. And from here, I'm going to look for the type option. I'm going to change that to colored and I'm going to click this little color tile. I'm going to switch into gradient mode. And I'm going to use one of the gradient presets. So I'm going to scroll down over these little tiles and I'm going to use this nice colorful gradient here to fill in the background. The next thing I'm going to do is add a text layer. So I'm going to go up to add layer text and then hit quick style headline. This will give us a good start towards the kind of headline that we want. So I'm going to start by choosing this headline style and exit out of that. And for the text content, I'm going to enter parallax. And then I just want this to be a bit bigger because it's going to be the centerpiece of this little demo slider. And I'm going to increase the weight up to 800. And now I'm going to go into size and position. And I'm going to center the layer vertically and horizontally. So I'm just going to close the timeline down a little bit so you can see the whole area of the module. So now what I want to do to show you how to use the parallax is I'm going to add a shape that's going to float in front of this parallax text layer and another one that's going to float behind it. And to make this work, the first thing that we need to do is activate parallax for this entire module to make it available to apply to any layer that we add. For that, I'm going to go into the module general options tab. I'm going to click into the on scroll subsection. And then in the top panel here, scroll based features, you'll see this parallax area and we can activate that by toggling parallax enabled to on. And for good measure, I'm just going to save my progress there. All right. So now let's add in our first layer that we're going to apply parallax movement to. So I'm going to go up to add layer and then choose shape. I want to make this shape bigger. So I'm going to drag it down on the bottom drag handle. And to the right until it gets nice and big. I want it to be left aligned and middle aligned. And then I'm just going to offset it a little from the left like this, just dragging it across. Now let's give this a little style. So I'm going to go into the style subsection. And I'm going to give this a nice gradient fill again. So I've clicked the BG color tile here to open up the color selector go into the gradients area and I'm just going to choose another nice gradient from the presets. That one's pretty cool. And now just for a little bit more style, I'd like to give this some curved corners. So still in the style subsection, I'm scrolling down to the bottom and we're going to show you a cool little trick for rounding off corners. You can actually give rounded corners to a shape layer by using the border radius option. So down in the border panel here, I'm going to click this padlock so that all four border radius options are going to be the same. And then I want to round these edges off around here, these corners rather. So all I need to do is enter 25%, then press tab. And there we go. Now we've got evenly rounded corners on all four corners of this shape. I'd like to be able to see through this shape a little bit as well. So to do that, I'm going to click into the animation subsection. And then down in the advanced panel, we have the opacity setting. So I'm going to change that to 0.5. So now we've got our shape in here and I also want it to sit behind the text. So just going down to the timeline, it's going to grab the shape layer and drag it below the text. All right. So now that is ready to have some parallax applied to it. And this is very straightforward. All you have to do is actually first, let me get out of the animation mode. I'm going to go back into content and then select the layer. Go into the on scroll subsection and you'll see this parallax and 3D panel is now here. 
So now I'm going to expand the level drop down and this determines the level of movement that's going to happen in response to either mouse movement or scrolling. So I'm going to set that to 35% and now there's only one more step to get this moving in a parallax manner and that is to tell the module whether you want that movement to be in response to moving the mouse or to scrolling. So I'm going to go back into module general options. We're still in the on scroll subsection, but now we want to go down to the mouse interaction panel and then we're going to change triggered by and instead of having scroll position, we're going to change it to mouse move. So moving the mouse is what triggers the parallax movement of the layer. All right, now let's see this in action. So I'm going to click save and then I'm going to click preview. There's our text and our shape. And now when I move the mouse, you can see the shape moving corresponding to the amount of mouse movement. Now you'll notice that when I move my mouse to the left, the shape moves to the right. And when I move my mouse to the right, the shape moves to the left. However, you can also do this the opposite way. Have a shape move to the right when you move your mouse to the right and vice versa. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to start by duplicating this shape, which I'll do by right clicking it on the canvas and then clicking duplicate. And this one I'm going to have move in front of the parallax text. So I'm going to move it up above the text layer in the timeline. And let's right align this layer. And then same again, just offset it a little bit from the right. And just to make it different, I'm going to turn this shape into a circle. And also just to show you another really cool thing that you can do with slider revolution. I'm going to go back into style down to the border panel. And now instead of having a 25% border radius, I'm going to change that to 50%. Press tab. And there you go. Now we've got a circle. So that's a, a really easy way that you can make a circle for use in your designs. And then just to make it look different, let's select a different gradient. Let's have this one. Now at first, when you go into the on scroll subsection for this layer, you'll notice that all of these percentage numbers are positive. That means that if you choose any one of these values, your layer is still going to move in the opposite direction of your mouse, but just by different amounts. However, the values that show up here can all be customized. So let's go back into module general options in the on scroll subsection again. And now let's look down at depths. Here you can see all those values that you just saw in the level drop down, and you can add in a custom value. So we added positive 35% as the level of movement on our first shape. So now let's change this value, the eighth value, and instead let's make that negative 35. So now when we go back into the layer options for this shape and back into on scroll, and we look in the level drop down, now option eight is negative 35. So I'm going to select that, click save, now let's preview. There's our two shapes, but now when I move to the right, the circle moves to the right as well. And when I move left, the circle moves to the left. So this is how, if you add in a collection of shapes behind and in front of another layer, you can make it look like those shapes are actually orbiting that central layer. And that's pretty cool. So that is the basics of how you set up parallax movement in slider revolution. And if you'd like to get more ideas about how you can use this technique, one of the best things that you can do is go to the Slider Revolution dashboard, click New Module from Template, search for Parallax, and then create a new module from any one of these templates here. These all use the Parallax technique in a different way. So you can dig into those layers and have a look at their settings and see all of the interesting ways that you can use this technique. So I hope you have fun using Parallax movement on your layers. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.